Today I am going to make lead chromate. Start by weighing out 6.6 .6 grams of sodium chromate and 8.37 grams of lead. Maintaining this ratio is important because both of these reactants are highly toxic, but lead chromate itself is relatively non-toxic. Next we need to dissolve the lead metal to get lead nitrate. To do this I'll add my lead to a filtering flask followed by 50 milliliters of water and 15 milliliters of 70% nitric acid. The flask will be capped and nitrogen dioxide gas will leave through the tube which is vented outside. I am also working under a fume hood. At ADC the lead begins to dissolve. At this point I cut the heat. While the lead is cooling, I need to make my sodium dichromate into a solution. Take extreme precaution when doing work with chromates, as they are all highly toxic and carcinogenic. Done with this step, back to the lead. Now that the lead nitrate has cooled, I am going to dilute it to 300 milliliters. I'll try and stir to dissolve the salt. It isn't dissolving much, so I try diluting to 500 milliliters and heating. Lead nitrate is one of the few soluble lead salts, but even then it takes a lot of heat and stirring to make it dissolve. Now that it is reasonably dissolved, all I need to do is add the sodium dichromate solution to the lead nitrate solution, and the lead chromate will precipitate out. Lead chromate is more commonly known as Paris yellow or canary yellow, and was common in oil paints. Sunflowers by Vincent van Gogh primarily uses this pigment. Anyway, let's make the rest of it. Once all the sodium chromate is added, the pigment begins to fall out of solution. It's kind of fun to stir. The final step in isolating the pigment is vacuum filtration. Now to collect it I just need to scrape it out and into a drying tray. And here is the final product. Lead chromate or Paris yellow. Follow for more.